Okay, now in this section of the uh, video guide here, uh, we're going to look at how to download, Get how do you get your hands on the virtual VNX from EMC? How do you download it? Um, well, the great news is it's free as with the uh, VNX simulator and also the Celera VSA. It's free to download and use. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier video, um, the only catch is EMC don't support it. Um, but that said, there is a very proactive um, and, and monitored uh, community from EMC around not only the virtual VNX but the VNX itself. So if you hit any problems at all, uh, definitely jump on there. You know, there's a lot of really friendly people on there. Uh, the community, you don't need any, um, uh, it doesn't cost anything again. You know, just jump on, create yourself an account, get on there, ask your questions, uh, troll, troll on through, have a look, see what other questions other people are asking. You might be able to help some others out as well. So although there isn't any official EMC support, for the virtual VNX, like I say, there's a really good community around that. Now, one other thing I will show you on the MC's uh, software download, download site, it's not only the virtual VNX on there. Um, gone are the days, EMC would take a completely different approach now to you know getting hold and trying out their their products. Um, as with most things out there, everything's you know a lot of the products, not only from EMC but also other um, uh, vendors out there, is going virtualized. I mean, it's this whole thing about the software defined uh, data center that no doubt you've heard that term banded around quite a bit uh, in the media and press. So um, as such, I mean, a lot of these products that were you know available only as a very expensive um, appliance. Uh, well, expensive for a you know for a home lab environment or a work lab environment, um, but uh, you know if you, if you check out this uh, software downloads page here, once again you see the URL at the top there. Um, I'll also just uh, quickly put up the URL to it there. So take note of that. There's some other great products there that you can download, install, kick the tires on in your own lab, uh, whether that's for you know work or home. So some great stuff there. You know. Um, Traditionally, EMC has been predominantly associated with being a storage company. So as you can imagine, there's a number of storage products in there. So we've got Isilon, Scale.io, um, you know, uh, as well as that, we've got some great backup um, uh, virtual machines here. We've got Networker, RecoverPoint. There's Viper as well. Definitely check that out. Um, worth a look. Data Domain Management Center. So you've got a lot of stuff to download and play with in your lab environment. And uh, like I say, this is this is free. So the only thing it's going to cost you is, is your time. Uh, to do that. So I'm just going to jump back to the virtual VNX page here. Um, so here we go. Uh, as it mentions, it's for non-production use. It doesn't have any time limits as well. Quite often, you know, vendors will get you to download this software, but it'll be good for 90 days and then you've got to reinstall it again. That's a real hassle. So you don't have this problem here. The prerequisite with it, um, we covered that off in the last video, uh, but just to reiterate again, um, your environment needs to be running ESXi server release version 5.5 or later. Now I'm actually running it on vSphere 6, which is at the time of recording this video, the latest version. Um, a couple of things here it says look right run it on hardware ray controller uh, with 512 um, megabytes of um, of battery back cache no doubt um, etc etc two gigabits uh, gigabit ethernet ports now um, that's in the perfect environment that's what they recommend because obviously EMC want you to get the best experience for this so you know they want you to um, uh, not fall foul of you know installing it on a system and then it not performing well and that reflecting badly on the product uh, two virtual CPUs 12 gigs of RAM and you, what you can do is install up to four terabytes of storage which is very generous because most lab environments uh, such as myself I don't get anywhere near that so anyway without further ado let's look at the download so um, over on the right hand side here you'll see the virtual VNX software download button this is the version the latest version as of uh, the time of recording this so 3.1.2 it's got the date on there it's 2.1 gigs in size and it's an OVA format so that makes it nice and easy to deploy within your vSphere environment um, just a couple other things before we move off of this page and start downloading um, this is the virtual VNX installation guide that I mentioned in a previous video definitely download that get your hands on it um, I've got a copy here that uh, I've printed out already. Very useful, some great um, hints and tips in there and tells you how to um, basically get it up and running. Uh, we'll be covering that in this video series here. So depending on whether you prefer, um, you know, learning via video such as this or whether you'd rather have a hard copy and read through it yourself, um, definitely download that uh, installation guide. Now, one other thing here that I really want to um, uh, call out as well is the community. Now, the community 
since this isn't a officially supported product, um, jump in there. Uh, here's, here's some links to the community threads. Very proactive um, and, uh, you, know, you know, a very vibrant community there. So definitely have a look. Um, so let's click on the link to download. Like so. So what you'll need for this is a EMC uh, login account. Now, uh, I work for EMC, but I just want to show you that you don't need special privileges. It is free to download. Um, that's my personal email address. Well, not my personal, but the, uh, my blog um, email address there um, that I'm going to use, just so you can see that uh, you don't need any elevated privileges. If you don't have an account already, get yourself one, definitely. You'll need it for the community as well. Um, but uh, as you can see on the right-hand side here, if you're a customer or partner already, you can uh, use that link. Otherwise, if you don't have any affiliation with EMC at all, you just want to try it out, just click on that second link there, register. It only takes, uh, you know, a minute or two at tops. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna log in like so. And here we go, there's the download button. Um, and all you do, um, there's the uh, the um, the terms and conditions as you expect. Uh, I never normally read them myself, but uh, if you're that way inclined, read them. Um, so you'll notice that uh, reference here as the virtual VNX community edition. So you might see that crop up in uh, the documentation from place to place. So that's this version here. It's the readily available free edition that you can download and use. Just agree to that if you're happy um, with the terms and conditions, and then you can just select a uh, location to download. As I mentioned, uh, it's 2.1 gigs in size, um, pretty sizable. So, uh, you know, if you're on a good internet connection, um, it shouldn't take too long to give you an idea. Um, I am on a uh, quite a generous sort of 70 gig download um, uh, downstream uh, account here, and it's gonna take about sort of five, six minutes to download. So that is how you download it. Um, in the next video, we will be moving on to how you install it within VMware vSphere and uh, to get it up and running. Thanks very much.